Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me, and that is Jaspie's nine box, out of the park, baseball mixer, a random team break with two multi-auto giveaways. There you go, so there's the mixer up there, and there's the two things that we're giving away. Um, that'll be a different dice roll at the end. Name on top will get the triple auto, and the second name down will get the dual auto. And there are the boxes right there. So pretty nice mixer and some pretty nice giveaways too. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Appreciate everyone who got spots straight up. And congrats again to the people who won those spots in the flashback packs. Congrats. All 30 teams are in. So let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Eugene on the pole position, Oliver in the 30 spot. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Giants down to the Royals. And you will have an opportunity to trade. Let me read off all these teams for you. Eugene with the Giants, Richard with the Phillies, Scott with the Pirates, Travis with the Guardians, Barry with the Angels, David with the Blue Jays, Travis, last spot, Mojo, Cardinals. They're on TV right now. Braves at Cardinals. Michael with the White Sox, Travis with the Braves. Travis, you got the uh, Sunday Night Baseball teams. David with the Brew Crew. No Albert Pujols in the lineup, though. Come on, Cardinals. Charles with the Rays. Paul with the A's. Aaron with the Mets. Karen with the Padres. Kenny with the Red Sox. Brian with the Marlins. Jimmy with the O's. Aaron with the Reds. Travis, Mariners, Nationals, Diamondbacks. Sean with the Tigers. Greg with the uh, Rockies. Michael with the Astros. Aaron with the Cubs. William with the Rangers. Kevin, you got my Dodgers. Travis with the Yankees. Aaron with the Twins. And Oliver with the Kansas City Royals. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we will have the nine box break. Stick around. We'll be right back. We'll see you on the other side. Hi. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There was a, a decent amount of trade chatter, but in the end, everyone uh, want, wanted to sand pat. So that printout right here remains the same. The list remains the same. All right, we'll get some of the base heavier stuff out of the way first. And then we'll work our way through the through these base heavier stuff, then through the tribute. The Sapphire, the Archives, the Tier 1, and I guess we'll close out with the Topps Chrome Black and then we'll give away those other autographs. Um, let's see here. There, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right. Just want to make sure I had the nine boxes. Good luck, everybody. Uh, I trust that everyone is doing well. Let's take a quick look at the... Uh, at the standings, the MLB standings. Do we have anything crazy happening here? The Yankees are still uh, still leading the East, although their lead has been the lead's been is not as big as it once was after a mostly rough uh, rough August. Tampa Bay is seven and a half games behind them. Toronto's nine games behind him. It's uh, running out of time. Twins are pretty close. Twins are pretty close to winning the division. They're only two games behind. Let's see if Cleveland can hang on. White Sox are uh, five games back. I think Houston pretty much has the AL West wrapped up. Braves are only two and a half games back of the Mets. Brewers are five and a half back of the Cardinals. And the Dodgers are cruising in the NL West. In the wild card, that's where most of the excitement is happening. 
and the AL, Tampa Bay, Seattle, and Toronto have wild card spots locked up at the moment. Tampa Bay is a game and a half ahead of, the, of a wild card spot. Seattle is a game ahead. Toronto has a third and final wild card spot with Baltimore a game and a half behind them. That would be cool to see. Well, I mean, it would be cool to see both bird teams in the playoffs, but it would be cool to see Baltimore sneak in there. Twins are three games back of a wild card spot. White Sox six games back. Red Sox seven games back. I suppose that's possible, seven games back. Rangers are ten and a half games back. That's a little less likely. I, uh, regular season doesn't matter. It's all about the playoffs. Exactly, Rex. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the teams that are trying to go for the playoffs. It's all about the playoffs, Rex. We're talking about teams that can get into the playoffs. Braves are nine and a half games ahead in a wild card spot, so unless they win the division, they should have that wild card spot locked up. Phillies plus two and a half, and the Padres occupy the third and final wild card spot, but the Brewers are right behind them, one and a half games back. Giants a little bit further away, seven and a half games back. Yeah, Johnny, we've been talking about that. We, we heard about that uh, not too long ago, actually. Terrible for for that running back, for Brian Robinson. Wrong again, Rex. They actually won the World Series in 2020. So, so wrong again. 56 out of 75, Victor Robles. It's Chris Sale. Eduardo Escobar, Dylan Carlson goes to the Cardinals, by the way, that'll be for Travis, and the Bobby Dalbeck for Kenny, and the uh, Red Sox. The out of 50, Eduardo Escobar for Travis, 32 out of 50, Chris Sale with the Red, Red Sox, Kenny. And there's Victor Robles, blue, for Travis and the Nats, 75. Rex, Rex thinks the NFL is cursed? How so? Baseball players never get shot? David Ortiz? Is it Cabrian Hayes? Scott for the Pirates. So 65 out of 75, David Peterson, Mets. That's for Aaron. And we got an orange Willie Ademis to 25. That'll be for the Rays. That'll be for Charles. Jazz Chisholm rookie card. Paul Goldschmidt. Does he get the triple crown? Is that, a, is that tonight's poll question? See, I think that might just be recency bias, Rex. What about Marcelo Zuna? Or this guy. There's Alec Bohm with the Phillies, Richard. Yes. 
I think what you, I, I think Rex, what's happening is, I mean, NFL is such a is, is such a highly reported sport. That um, that when something like this happens, it makes a uh, makes a lot of makes makes a lot of news. It's more widely reported and talked about at a at a higher frequency and for a longer point in time. What's up, Logan? And yeah, and there's just more players. Think about it. Fifty-three man rosters. Right, 53-man rosters, 32 teams. That's by far the largest amongst all the sports. So more opportunity as opposed to like 25-man, 26-man baseball rosters, 15-man NBA rosters, and two fewer teams. So just the percentage of, uh, of players getting into trouble is a lot higher and probably more, more reported than... Than, uh, than some of the other sports. Because media-wise, football is still the high, highest rated sport in, in America. And so what's gonna get views, what's gonna get clicks on the websites and on the networks? Reporting on, reporting on the drama in the NFL. Finest flashback. Moogie Betts has been crushing the ball lately. He's been playing really well. Julio Urias playing well too. I don't know why Albert Pujols isn't in this game, Cardinals. I want to see the Cardinals get out to a big lead. So maybe you see, uh, maybe you see, uh, ooh, look at this. Don't look at this, Rex. But look at this Texas, William with the Rangers gets the finest flashback on card Nolan Ryan autograph. Don't look, Rex. Turn away. It's too late. Sorry, Rex. And that's two out of 15. Nice low number. There you go, William with the auto. Congrats. Sorry, Rex. I would have given you a, a bigger heads up, but it just kind of popped. That Whit Merrifield is gold to fifty. That's for uh, that's for Oliver and the Royals. Oh no! Rex was just listening, not watching. I could have just let it slide just right on by. Rex, big Nolan Ryan fan, of course. That guy's back. Is Walker Bueller not going to be back for a while? That's a 35. Get well soon, Walker Bueller. That'll go to Kevin and the Dodgers. That's a Key Brian Hayes rookie card. And a Dylan Carlson. Both of those guys are pretty good. Travis with the Cardinals. Keep Ryan Hayes with the Pirates. That's Scott. All right, and we've got 2022 Bowman. Keep Ryan Hayes over here. One auto a box. Some nice players here. Brandon reporting that we have 12 more spots till we pop open that select five. Yeah, so if you are a uh, if you are a football collector, you don't really care too much about this baseball. Let's get some football filled up. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And. 
all card ship, so all this paper will ship. Traditionally, when we're doing case breaks of this, paper doesn't ship. Although, I want to say, in the last year or two, I'm pretty sure we have shipped all cards in Bowman and Draft, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we have. So maybe we're 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 uh, shifting our stance on that. Or it could be no paper ships this year. I don't know. We'll have to find out once we get Bowman on the calendar and draft on the calendar. No redemptions here so far, Rex. Good luck. So this pretty much is our last bit of the uh, our last bits of the base heavier stuff. Then we should start seeing some of the single pack a box kind of thing here. Taya. And we got Michael Triana, 93 at a 125 aqua parallel for Aaron and the Reds. Bat, the old bats left throws right, number 20 Reds prospect. Julio Rodriguez. Yeah, Logan. Uh, I, apparently, a couple. Uh, there's Seth Beer, Green Paper. Apparently, some a uh, couple episodes of that Ring of Power show on on Amazon Prime were released to some members of the media, and uh, yeah, by all indications. All the nerds are saying it looks great. So I'm looking forward to it. And then the new, uh, the new Andor series will be on the 12th, I want to say. That's right. That was a green beer. Good eye, Mike Tower. Green beer, which we would normally only see on St. Patrick's Day, but we're lucky enough to see it here on August 28th, 2022. There's a Wander Franco rookie paper. For the Rays, that'll be for Charles. And we're seeing, seeing Lars Newtbar in action here. He's been hitting well, too. So you haven't seen the auto yet. 
Uh, that's Dusty Baker's kid. There's the auto. It's Warming Bernabel. 162 out of 499. Warming? It's be great on a cool day in Colorado. Gregory with the Rockies. Your number 15 Rockies prospect. There you go. From the same uh, Dominican hometown as Juan Uribe and Eric Ibar. Nice. There's Maisel Gonzalez, green paper to 99. Could, O'Neill Cruz. Could do it. That's for the Pirates. That's going to be for Scott. All right, and that was your 2022 Bowman. What temperature do I recommend when warming a Berna Bell? Maybe uh, be sure to preheat the oven to 350. Mike Tower, I think that that would be the first bit of advice. All right, tribute. A lot of hits in here. It should just be a base card. Then. He's got a redemption down there. Any guesses on that redemption? Miguel Cabrera here in 2021 tribute. Aaron Judge, Yaz, Chris Bryant Cubs edition, Matt Chabonet's edition, and Mo Mariano Rivera. All right, behind Nationals edition of Max Scherzer is going to be a Christian Javier rookie auto, 135 out of 150. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Michael. Behind Bo Bichette is a dual relic, both Yankees. Aaron Judge, Derek Jeter, 141 out of 150. How much is, how much is Aaron Judge going to make in free agency? Is there any true redemption for Tatis? Probably. Travis with the Yankees. Behind Bellinger is is a William Contreras autograph, 76 out of 199. Rookie auto for the Braves. Is he playing tonight? Uh, no, Travis Darno has to start tonight. Travis with the Braves. Behind Roger Maris is Rafael Dever, stamp of approval relic. Six out of 50. What I love about these is that not only is it game used material, but they'll give you a little hologram stamp that'll let you know exactly what date that jersey came from, and then you could go to like Baseball Reference and look at his game log and see if he's done anything that day. That is, uh, if you want to look it up, mlb.com slash authentication, JC724087. That's JC724087. 
724-087. I think it's an 87. Red Sox, Kenny with the Red Sox. And we've got a, there's Tatis Jr. Just relics though, four out of 25, triple relic. The motorcyclist, the PED using motorcyclist, I guess now, rough season for him. Karen with the Padres. Oh, Oliver, thank you. Oliver looked it up. Oh, wow. That's a, that piece of the jersey was from a game in 2019, Yankees Red Sox. Should we, uh, well, now that I have that information. Let's see what he did that day. Let's go to baseballreference.com, 2019 game log, July 28th. Looks like uh, July 28th. That date must be wrong. I don't think, or he didn't play July 28th. He did play on the 29th and 30th, though. So sometimes that happens, too. It'll be a clean jersey. All right. The Redemption. Is you are due to receive an autograph blue parallel of where is the name? Oh, there it is. A Arizona Atlanta. It's no, it's just Angels. Joe Adele. Thought they put the put the entire city there. No, it's for the Halos. Barry Roberts. Yeah, it could be some bench stains on this here, Steve. Pine tar, maybe, could be possible. All right, how about some 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire? some final scores today. I did not catch the Peacock broadcast of the Dodgers-Marlins game. Was that, anyone enjoy that NBC broadcast? Dodgers 1-8-1. Julio Urias, and I don't know if it was some other relief pitchers too, but they too hit the Marlins today. It was Urias, Gratterall, Martin, and Vesia. Nice. Nationals beat the Reds 3-2. Rays pounding on the Red Sox 12-4. Pirates shut out the Phillies 5-0. Angels Beat the Blue Jays 8-3. Rocky shot out the Mets 1-0. Astros beat the Orioles 3-1. Royals putting the hurt on the Padres 15-7. And Twins beat the Giants 8-3. Devers had four at-bats during that game? I don't know. Baseball Reference doesn't have a, a July 28th game for him, a game log for him. He might be looking at a different year. Unless I'm looking at the wrong year. There's Luis Rodriguez, 21 out of 99. Nice. That'll be for Allen and the, uh, no, not Allen, but uh, Kevin and the Dodgers. Here's Jeter Downs to 125, former Dodger. That's green, that's for Kenny. There's Pedro Pineda, 8 out of 50. And that'll be for Oakland. That'll be for Paul. Love the look of the sapphire. Uh, on the 
Oh, there it is. I was looking at June, Gary. July 28th, Devers did play. He went one for four with a double and a loss to the Yankees. They played him in June, too, at the end of June, at the end of July. Oh, let me actually open up the Topps Chrome Sapphire first. Going blind. get my uh, prescription checked in the fall. That's what I need to do. So there you go, Red Sox. There you go, Kenny. He did do something that day. Double against the Yankees. All right. Thanks, Gary, for taking a look at that for the uh, corrections and retractions. Corrections and retractions. And we got a Michael Waka, three out of 10. Low number for the Metropolitans, that's gonna be for Aaron. And there's the autograph. It's Logan Webb. Nice rookie auto for the Giants. My rivals, Eugene, with the Giants. I feel like he's had a, had a pretty nice year, if I'm not mistaken. An otherwise disappointing year for the Giants. Yeah, he's got an 11-7 record, a 3.33 RA. 130 strikeouts over 159 in a third innings. Not bad. A 119 whip. A 3 4 war. All right, this is uh, Archives Inner Series Retired Player Edition. What do we got? We got Gypsy Queen design, and it's a one of one. Tom Glavin, nice. There's the one of one in the corner. There's his autograph right along his backside there. And the Gypsy Queen design. Travis won that spot, won a spot in a filler, got randomized the Braves, and gets the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! All right, tier one. And this is 2020 tier one, by the way. So a couple years in the past. Let's see, is there? Where's my uh, little Jaspi card that I can hide? So maybe Jason accidentally threw it away. To make a, I'll make a new one at some point, I guess. All right, maybe it's gone. Oh, there it is. It's right on top of the other ones. I'm going to put that right out of the card so I can hide the hits here. Ooh. We got an extra. Usually there's only three cards. We got an extra relic. So let's look at the relics first. Here's a piece of Ricky Henderson's lumber out of 199. That is for Paul and the A's. The other relic is Austin Meadows. 
351 out of 395, Tampa Bay Rays, Charles with the Rays. We got Dwight Smith Jr., 255 out of 299. That's uh, Jimmy, Jimmy K with the O's. And this autograph here is Blake Snell, Rays edition, 44 out of 200. That's going to go to Charles and the Rays. All right, we'll finish off with 2021 Topps Chrome Black. Oh, there's a bit of sponge right there. So there's an, an encased card right down here. Let's see what's in here. We've got Luis Garcia, Nats, Spencer Howard for the Phillies, Travis and Phillies Richard, and we got a Joey Bart to 199 for the Giants. That'll be for Eugene. All right, and the final hit of the break. Is gonna be, good luck everybody. is a Padre, that's Luis Campusano, 12 out of 99. I like the uh, that aqua parallel against that black. That really pops, that's nice. Padres, that's gonna be for Karen. There you go, Karen. And there you go, everybody. That's our nine box uh, out of the park baseball mixer. Now I got a couple things to give away here. This is, this is pretty nice. We got this triple auto right here. Whitey Ford, Mariano Rivera, and Yogi Berra. That's pretty awesome. A few Yankee legends there. I've heard of these guys. These guys are not too shabby either. Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, dual autograph. Dual auto of those uh, dual sport athletes. No other randomizers to do so. Let's flip back to the list here. Let's gather everybody's names from Travis all the way down to Travis. New dice, new list. And we're going to randomize that list four and a two six times. Name on top will get the triple. Second name will get the double. After six, good luck. Four and a two six times. One, two, three, four, Fingers crossed, everybody. Five and sixth and final time. After six. And we'll leave the poll question up, but 71% uh, of voters think that Paul Goldschmidt will win the NL Triple Crown. He's pretty close. All right, so in the three spot. Oof, sorry, Paul. Very close, but not quite. Sad times for you, but I appreciate you giving it a shot. Thank you. Only two people can be happy. Second name down, you'll get the, the dual auto. And that's for Richard Hastings. Richard is happy. That dual auto, Bo and Dion going your way. Congrats. And name on top, Kevin. With the spot that he won in the filler, after six times, your name on is on top. You get the triple. Is that, I don't... Oh, it is numbered. It's to, uh, to 27 right there. One out of 27. Is it, I don't think this one is numbered, but that's pretty nice. So congrats to Kevin and Richard. Appreciate you getting in. Thanks, everybody, for making this break happen. We may as well do a quick little recap. A lot of parallels and a lot of nice stuff going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.